Chad, victorious seeker. Well done on winning on him last time out. That was a terrific ride you gave him. Yeah, it was good. Um, he didn't have any speed early. He actually was struggling to keep up the first little bit. But when the pace slackened, I, I just let him stride. He's, he's a pretty slow horse, but he'll stay all day. Um, so I let him go, and he maintained that speed all the way to the line, and he would have maintained it for another 200 metres. So it was a good win. Those mid-race moves, when they're executed well, look terrific, but they can look shocking when things don't go well. Did you know that night that you're the horse that could keep on running for you, though? Um, yeah, well, I've trialled him, ridden him in the race, and I trialled him the week before. And um, yeah, like I said, he does nothing quickly, but he, he really does stay well. So when the pace slackens, um, I let him go. And yeah, like you said, it's, it's, it's always tempo related. Can he win again? With the right circumstances, I think so. Um, and if we can get if we can get the race run to suit, yeah, um, he'll be there somewhere about. That's one of 14 wins that you've had for the season, Chad. Uh, you're in your the middle of your sixth season here in Hong Kong. How are things going for you at the moment? Do you feel pretty quiet to be honest? Um, having having got a great deal of support, but um, we, we're picking up winners every now and then. But of course, we'd love to be doing a lot better and, and getting winners more frequently. Casper Explosive Witness lines up on Wednesday at Happy Valley. Yeah, well done on getting the Group 3 with him last time. How's he pulled up from that race? Thank you. Yeah, he's, uh, he's going great guns. He's uh, big and strong. He just seems to keep on progressing. And on, on paper, this looked a good race for him, even though he's carrying top weight. But uh, he looks like he's ready to go to the races again. So did you decide to go for this race rather than try to go for the Group 1 a couple of weeks ago? That's correct, yeah. I looked at the program. It's got a great course and distance record. You know, he always runs well there, so uh, we may as well take him back to the track he's uh, done, done good things at. Since towards the end of last season, he's been flying. What suddenly clicked with him, Casper? Mate, he's had a lot of issues, as you know, you know, well documented. And it's like anything over here. Once you start to toughen up and get over those niggling problems you have horses can you can actually start to train them and you know give them a full prep which is which is what we've been able to do with him and it's been wonderful because you know the owners have been really patient and I appreciate that and uh, thank God it's paid off well he's won four out of his last five uh, obviously has a chance again to to go on and uh, and give it a give it a big run again on Wednesday and you've sent him to Chung Fari to trial there is a bit awkward out of the gates but apart from that were you happy with the way he trialled? Yeah he's always he's a little bit of a gobby horse you know but uh, you know he's drawn three Alexi gets on well with him so if the speed's genuine and he's just in a spot where he can just get into a nice rhythm I'm sure he'll give us that late uh, sectional that he's, uh, he's got in him. Matthew you rode last and last time out at Sha Tin down the straight what did you think of that run? Well uh I thought he won really well, but um, we, we can see he don't show uh, the early speed uh, as we expected. Uh, so he, he didn't sit that uh, close as we thought, but he went home good. So we, we put the blinker on this time. Hopefully he can show more gate speed. Last time Matty was at a decent price, he was at $27 in his previous form hadn't been that great. Was it a surprise that he ran that well for you last time? Well, I, I don't think he, he ran bad before. He always quite consistent in class two, but uh, still like oh, still hard to chase the winner. But I think he won pretty consistent. He beat by not too far if, uh, in class two, so not too uh, surprised. Yeah. Both of his wins in Hong Kong have been at Happy Valley. He heads back there on Wednesday night. Does that give you extra confidence? Well, you can see he he, he won in Happy Happy Valley, thousand meter track and distance. So I think uh, he probably loved loved that track. So hopefully I can this first time being on, I can get a nice position, uh, maybe just behind uh, the leader or something, and hopefully he won well again. And looking back at the weekend, Matthew, congratulations on winning the Group 3 Centenary Vars on Glorious Dragon. How important was that win for you? Well, always good to, to uh, uh, win a good fee, uh, especially for different trainer for Francis. Francis gave me lots of support this season. He gave me, he gave me six winners this season and lots of nice rides. So very thanks for the, the, the team. Um, yes. Will you ride him next time? Yes, uh, they said we'll put in a gold cup.
David, well done on getting the win with Happy Alumni last time out. He's a horse who'd shown potential but hadn't lived up to it always. What did you do to get that win fresh up with him? Oh, we just um, just gave him a gradual build-up. His main issue is that when he doesn't want to go on to the track, he won't work. So we keep changing where we take him. Uh, China's been a huge help for him. And he's got back to Hong Kong. We tried to get him out on the track for a couple of days, but he hasn't, so you'll notice he's done a lot of swimming. But he seems to um, be a good boy on race days, but uh, he's got a mind of his own with his training. Do you feel as a racehorse he's got a, a bit of scope, there's further rating points in hand with him? There is, if he could train him. Um, he's a horse that, you know, he'll have residual fitness because of his trials and win, but uh, you'll notice he hasn't done a lot except swim. So um, we do double swimming and, and, and he's got a good gait. And he was a pretty impressive winner last start. I think it's a bit tougher race though. Capital star, Casper. What did you make of his first run in Hong Kong for you? Yeah, it was very good. You know, he drew a good barrier that night. Obviously, we couldn't use it. He just sort of shuffled back through the race uh, and closed off really well. So it was a pleasing effort first up. You know, you're always happy when a, when a new horse comes in and, and shows you something. So at least you know where you are and, uh, and hopefully they can go on with it. Obviously, going to the races tomorrow night from gate 10, against three last start winners. You know, it's going to be tough. It looks a strong race. Uh, the draw's done him no favours because he was an on-speed horse back in Australia. But we'll ride him where he's comfy, and, you know, I'm sure he'll, he'll hit the line again. And, uh, you know, he's the type of horse that uh, should keep on improving with races. His Australian form would suggest he's more of a sprinter, but the way that he looked under pressure in the middle stages last time out, mm. could he get over further here in Hong Kong? It looks that way, Ed. I mean, you know, obviously over there he was, he was blinkered up in Aussie and they sort of had him up on the speed. I'm happy with them just to be where they're comfortable, get a natural rhythm and, uh, and see what they've got. And he's shown us that first up and hopefully he can give us a good run again tomorrow and then we'll see where we go for his third run. And just a final one for you, Casper, in the trainer's title you've been in front since coming out of the blocks, all guns blazing, but you're yeah. in front by two now against John Size, who's flying at the moment. He's absolutely flying and, and good on him. I'm glad he's, he's chasing me hard and you know, it's gonna, be, uh, it's gonna be an exciting finish. I still think I've got a lot of ammunition left. You know, obviously John is a great trainer and he's had so many premierships. And uh, I've just had a little bit of a frustrating run the last few weeks, as you know, I've had about eight or nine seconds, but that's racing, you know, hopefully that'll turn around. The problem is when you're in a handicap system, each point counts and uh, every time you just get crucified, you know, when they're running seconds uh, and you're not getting the, the winning result. So we just got to keep keep trying. I'm sure I'll, uh, I'll be there uh, come the last, last few meetings and uh, I'm just going to give it my best and uh, good luck to John, good luck to Cassie Parr and see, may the best man win.